in today's video we are going to be talking about head turners fragrances that will literally make people do a double take now if you want to see the fragrances that made this list just keep watching welcome back and thank you so much for joining me as promised i'm going to show you guys some fragrances that will literally turn heads let's jump right into this video the first fragrance that i'll be featuring on this list is from the house of dolce and gabbana and this one is called the only one in tents i adore this fragrance it's a beautiful scent a very sexy seductive sweet dark mysterious beautiful scent the last time i wore this scent i wore this by my mom's house and as soon as i stepped in the first thing that she said to me was damn you smell good what is that so it is that kind of fragrance. It's the kind of fragrance that you will be complimented on and you'll definitely get noticed for this. There's no way you'll wear this fragrance and not have someone ask you what you are wearing. It is that kind of fragrance. It features notes of vanilla. We have jasmine, mandarin, we have coconut. Beautiful scent. So when you spread this out, you're gonna get that sweet vanilla right away and of course you're gonna get that beautiful floral note coming from the jasmine you get a bit of a citric vibe from the mandarin and for me the star of the show which is actually my favorite part of this scent is that creamy coconut it does dry down a little bit more earthy than i'd like but it's still a beautiful scent and i really do enjoy wearing it and i do get complimented on this fragrance the performance on this one is really good so if you spray this one on in the morning you're gonna smell it throughout the day and into the night and even the next day you'll still be able to smell this one on your clothes i love the way this one makes me feel it makes me feel very womanly it makes me feel grown up it makes me feel special sexy established it just makes me feel good it's a feel good sexy seductive kind of fragrance that will definitely make heads turn a beautiful scent this is the only one intense and this is from the house of dolce and gabbana the next fragrance on this list is from the house of jean paul gautier and this one is called classique this is order toilette listen i know for the past a couple of videos that i've done i've been talking about this fragrance and that's because i really really adore this fragrance i think it is just super unique i think it's stellar i just think this is a masterpiece of a fragrance and i just don't think it could ever be duplicated or replaced or anything like that i'm probably gonna always have this one in my collection it's just so beautiful it's not even a fragrance that's new or anything but i feel as though i just discovered this scent every single time i wear this fragrance i detect something that i had never detected before in there it's so beautiful it's just amazing in my opinion it does feature a lot of notes but the notes that are most prominent are orange blossom ginger we have vanilla star anise we have cinnamon so it does come off very clean and soapy but it also has this very sweet warm spiciness to it that is just so unique and just so beautiful i think the combination of notes here are just so perfect this is the kind of fragrance i would consider a masterpiece this is just an iconic fragrance it doesn't smell old it doesn't smell dated it just smells beautiful literally every time i spray this fragrance my husband goes freaking crazy it's that kind of fragrance it's super long lasting and it projects so nicely the strange thing is that usually i'm not attracted to fragrances that pull oriental and i must say that the vanilla here does pull a little bit balmy so it does feel a bit oriental which does give it that mature feel but it's just so pretty it's just hard to think that you'd be able to walk by someone wearing the scent and not get some sort of reaction even if they don't say anything they're thinking something because it's just that kind of fragrance this is classique edt and it's from the house of jean paul gautier the next fragrance that i want to share with you guys is actually a celebrity scent it's by jessica simpson and this one is called fancy 
this is actually one of the first gourmand fragrances that i ever added to my fragrance collection and that's because years ago you could not catch me wearing a gourmand scent i kind of used to feel as though they didn't smell good on me there was just always something in the composition that would turn me off something that just didn't i don't know i just didn't like gourmand fragrances a couple of years ago but the first time i smelled this one i was like oh my god that is just so delicious and i was just so happy that it really worked on me now this features notes of pear caramel almond we have some floral notes it's not the most complex scent but that's fine with me that's actually what i like about this fragrance i like the fact that it is not pretentious it just is what it is it's not the type of fragrance to be taken too seriously but i do love the trail on this one it just leaves this beautiful sweet warm trail in the air and that's the kind of fragrance that you want to wear when you want to turn heads what i especially love about this fragrance is the performance this fragrance projects like crazy it's super long lasting i remember the first time i wore this fragrance i felt so self-conscious because i was just not ready but like I said, if you want a fragrance that is just going to garner compliments, it's going to turn some heads. Those are the kind of things that you want your perfume to have. And this has all that beautiful, warm, sweet scent, monster sillage, and super long lasting. I love this one. This is Fancy by Jessica Simpson. The next fragrance that I'll be featuring on this list is from the house of Mugler. And this is called alien this is the edp this is classified as an amber witty fragrance i think that kind of tells part of the story it doesn't tell the full story of what you're getting yourself into when you purchase this fragrance what i get from this is a grapey jasmine and i also get something very soapy and quite musky and animalic this is fairly new to my collection and i've been really enjoying this fragrance and I'm gonna say that I am super you know proud of myself for indulging in delving into a fragrance like this because typically I'll run so far away from a fragrance like this because of the scent profile just because of how it smells and how it performs this is another fragrance that is just not for the shy not for the faint of heart not the kind of fragrance that you'd wear if you just want to ride under the radar if you just want to blend in with the crowd this is a standout type of fragrance i love this one and i'm so happy to have this in my collection i only pull for this fragrance when i'm feeling daring sexy when i want to feel unique when i want to stand out when i just want to wear something shocking this is definitely the kind of fragrance that you'd wear if you want to get attention if you want to get asked about what it is that you're wearing if you want heads to turn it's just that kind of fragrance in all honesty i think that's kind of the intention behind this fragrance because if you wear this scent there's no way you're not gonna get noticed even if no one's saying anything they smell you i find this fragrance very sexy very alluring unique very mysterious i just enjoy wearing this one the performance on this one is crazy a couple of sprays goes a very long way the sillage is out of this world definitely monster siage but that's exactly what you need if you want to get complimented and if you want to get heads turning this is alien edp and it's from the house of mugler the next fragrance that i added to this list is from the house of guerlain and this one is called la petite robe noir and this is order toilette i've had this one for so many years and i really savor this fragrance i really really like it i did make quite a dent into this fragrance because it's a fragrance that i really do enjoy wearing especially when i want to feel pretty i want to feel feminine i want to feel classy i don't want to smell like everybody else i just want to smell exquisite that's kind of the feeling that i get from this scent it features notes of cherry, rose, patchouli, and musk. I mean, we have more notes here, but those are the notes that's most prominent to my nose. The cherry here is not sweet. It's more of a sour or tart cherry. We do get that floral aspect from the rose, and there's quite a lot of patchouli and musk in the base. So if you don't like patchouli and if you don't like musky fragrances, you may not like this one, but you never know because I tend to stay away from 
patchouli in fragrances but here it definitely works i think the patchouli here adds depth and sophistication to the fragrance and also it definitely helps in the longevity department so i really like this fragrance this is la petite robe noir edt and this is from the house of guerlain the next fragrance on this list is a celebrity scent it's by ariana grande and this one is called cloud 2.0 so this is the intense version to the original cloud fragrance in my opinion i would say if you have the original version there's no need to get the intense version of course you know that's going to be a personal decision but in all honesty i have both fragrances and i find them to be like pretty much alike with just minor uh differences but to me, they are like pretty much the same. This is an Ambroxan woodsy, musky, coconut -y scent. It's quite sweet, a bit gourmand, especially in the opening. We have coconut, we have praline, we have whipped cream. Once it begins to dry down though, it does get very woodsy and musky and a little bit unisex in my opinion. Now, I for one don't really enjoy the base to this fragrance but i know a lot of people like the base of this scent but i just had to put that out there this is a kind of fragrance that will definitely get you attention um, because of how strong this one is i do like to wear it lower on my body and i kind of keep it away from my pulse points because i don't need it to be intensified any more than it's already intense now i think if you're looking for a fragrance that is very sweet in a gourmand way if you enjoy coconut more so coconut oil because that's kind of like what i get the coconut here is more like coconut oil in my opinion if you like fragrances like that and you don't have a problem with a woodsy notes and you don't mind fragrances that are a little bit unisex then i think you should definitely look into this one if you're looking for attention this will definitely get you attention the next fragrance on this list is from the house of michael kors and this one is called mystique shimmer this is what i consider to be a unicorn it does have a niche vibe to it, it smells pretty expensive this isn't gonna appeal to a lot of people and that's because it doesn't really share the scent profile of a lot of fragrances out there it smells quite unique it's dominated by black pepper we have saffron we have woods we have amber so it's definitely unique now what i get from this is a spicy woody ambery type scent there's something tart about this fragrance. It's something definitely clean about it. It's definitely a performer. You spray this on, you pick up your clothes the next day, you still smell it lingering on you. So yeah, it is that type of scent. Even though this smells great in my opinion, and I think it will garner compliments, it's the kind of fragrance that you definitely need to try because of how unique it is. It's the kind of fragrance you don't want to blind buy. Okay, believe me when I tell you that. But it's a nice scent and I do enjoy this one. This is Mystique Shimmer and it's from the house of Michael Kors. So the next fragrance on this list is from the house of Jean-Paul Gaultier and this one is La Belle. Now I kind of feel bad for adding this one to the list only because I feel as though it's such an overdone scent. Everybody talks about this fragrance. It was so hyped up back in 2021. It's all everybody wanted to talk about. Everyone wanted to own this scent. But honestly, that's because it is a beautiful scent. And I think when this one came out, we just didn't have much experience with fragrances that smells like this. You have that sweet tart pear, that almost dusky vetiver notes. We have the floral notes in the middle. The performance on this one is just a stellar. So I think it just makes for the perfect scent when you're trying to get noticed. I like this one. It's not a love for me, but I know a lot of people go crazy about this one. And I could just imagine the amount of compliments you'll get wearing this one and the amount of attention you'll get wearing this one. Definitely a heavy turner the next fragrance that i want to share with you guys is a fragrance from the house of mancera this is called velvet vanilla this is one of the few um niche fragrances that i have in my collection when i purchased this fragrance it was very intentional i knew what i was getting myself into i knew that it wasn't a cheap fragrance but i heard so many people talking about this one and how much it smelled like you know pink bubblegum and that's exactly what i was looking for at the time that i made this purchase so yeah this is very sweet like sugary sweet 
it does smell like pink bubblegum there's nothing very um sophisticated or classy or mature about this fragrance you get what you get and that is sweet pink bubblegum very intense now the dominant notes in this fragrance are tuberose and vanilla the tuberose is what's responsible for that heady pink bubblegum scent and of course we have that vanilla that just adds even more sweetness and creaminess to the scent i really enjoy that the performance on this one is no joke the sillage in this one is really monstrous it's super long lasting if you want to turn heads but smelling very sweet and sugary like pink bubblegum definitely look into this one this is velvet vanilla and it's from the house of mancera so the next fragrance on this list is from the house of perry ellis and this one is called orchid i really like this scent i tried so hard not to add this one to this list because i feel as though i've been talking about this fragrance way way too much but that's because i really like this scent and i do think it is something special and i do think that is something that will garner a lot of compliments and you know get heads turning it is that type of scent so what i get from this is a spiced purple berry type scent the berries here are more tart than sweet there's a bit of sweetness but i feel as though i'm picking up more on a tart type scent there's a bit of clean florals here you could definitely pick that up and i do get that earthy patchouli and musk in the base so there's quite a lot going on but i think it's a beautiful scent very well blended and i can't see how anyone would not do a double take if they smell this one coming off of you this is orchid by perry ellis okay guys so that brings me to the end of this video if you made it this far don't forget to like this video please comment down below and let me know what fragrance you have that you consider to be head turners okay guys so that's it for me bye